Hello, my name is Terry White, Worldwide Design and Photography Evangelist for Adobe, and it's my pleasure to give you a first look at a new feature in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015 that I think my photographers in the audience are going to love. Let's take a look at how this works. Now, what I'm looking at here is a panorama, a typical panorama, especially if you uh, did this handheld, where you're going to have these uh, once it's stitched together, you're going to have these vacant spots. In other words, where you don't have any image data. And the problem is you've got this great mountain over here that now, because you didn't have any data up here, you'd have to crop off and you'd end up with this. And it's just not as compelling as this would have been if it had been full. So let's uh, close these and let's make a new panorama. So we'll go to Automate Photo Merge. We'll browse, or by the way, we'll choose perspective. We'll browse for our files. Here are the same ones that we made from the last one. We'll go ahead and open those up. And also, I now have the ability, and this is what's new, to do content aware fill on those transparent areas. Now, I used to do that part manually. I had this panel that I always show from London, took a few years ago, same problem where I'd be losing part of the sky and part of the sidewalk. And I would just, after the fact, fill those blank areas in with content aware fill. Well, now that's part of the photo merge process. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to get started on this. And it will start its process of opening up each image and then laying them out with the amount of overlap and blending and all that. And so this process actually, depending on the size of your images and how many images you have and the speed of your computer and the amount of RAM you have, this could actually take a while to do. Uh, this particular image ends up being quite large, so it does take a while to process the whole thing. And it's going through each step, doing the blending and the merging, and then the last step will be the content aware fill. But rather than have you sit here and listen to silence while, or listen to me drone on about it, I'm going to, through the magic of post-production, cut out the middle parts. In other words, cut out this processing part so that, you know, we'll, I'll pick it up at the end where it's just about to finish the progress bar and you'll see the final result. So, be back in a second. And here we are. We're back. So, as you can see, it not only created the panorama, it even left the blank area or transparent area selected so it can show you what it filled in. So, all this area here at the top would have been gone and all of this area here at the bottom would have been gone so it did this beautiful content aware fill to give us the full image which now i can deselect and i have this full image that i can now save so thanks panorama feature in photoshop cc for 2015 now with content aware fill as part of the process so it does the whole thing automatically hope you enjoy it try it out and we'll catch you on the next one